Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. This is Scrapbooking Diva and I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this layout. So in this layout, what I actually did, nothing is here yet, but okay, let me start with this. This is going to be my journaling here, okay, which is just a regular uh, car stack. The way that I did this um, little um, design on the side, I used one of Martha Stewart's the loop and I went around uh, with the punch and created this um, beautiful, how do you call it, um, just loops <laughs> around the paper. For the letters, I actually purchased some of K and Company um, chipboard letters and that's what I used to write the word boots. I print the pictures two by two, if you can see, and I'm gonna mount them on, um, this is like two and a half by two and a half um, car stack all around. And I do the same thing with this one. The paper that I'm using here is actually one taken from, it's also, this is um, a die cut with a view and this is the sweet um, collection pack. So I use one of their papers. Now the pic this pic this picture is actually four by six mounted in a in a mat. And then this ribbon I purchased a while back and I think it was um Target. The way that I did this design, I actually used one of um EK Success punches and I went and I punched the bottom, then I turned it around and I punched the top, and this is the look that I came up with. The flowers that I'm using, I'm using a combination of these Prima flowers and I'm also using the gut flowers also in a, in a blue color. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to be, um, I'm going to be adhering this down, but I'm also going to take a stamp and just create some swirls around. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do, let me adhere this picture. I'm just going to push this to the side a little bit. Let me take my... And let me also mount the smaller ones. Mm, perfect. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. Let me make sure before I hear anything. Okay, perfect. So let me take this out. And let me adhere this. And I'm also going to attach. No, I'm going to attach this last. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead. You know what? No, I can't. I have to add it before. So what I'm going to have to do. Let me cut some tape. All right. All right, awesome. So now we're going to adhere our picture here. Yes. That looks about right. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on the side because I'm not gonna adhere it yet because I'm also, I'm gonna use um, some stamps on this side to create some source. I'm not going to do that. On this side, I'm also going to adhere some source. I'm going to wait for these, but this I could definitely adhere. This is going to be my journaling here. Let me make sure. Okay. About there. Okay, and I'm also going to, I'm going to add my little, let me see how it's going to look. Alright, so we can actually, okay, perfect, try to make sure that they're right, what they're supposed to be. Alright, so let me take some t liquid adhesive, okay, so we found some adhesive, then let me go ahead and, and glue down my little letters.
what I like about this letter is if you notice a, um, with this letter, it has like some kind of um, felt to it. Let me see if you can see that. It is just so beautiful. Really, really cute letters. I've never seen that before. Okay, so these are the, um, I forgot where I bought this, but I bought it a while back. Um, and then it was so cute, some cute little boots. <laughs> so I think I'm going to kind of paste this, I was thinking maybe here, somewhere around here. Um, it will look very cute. It will just look perfect with the theme that I'm going with. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some dimensionals and put my little leather boots right there. Perfect. Okay, let me get some dimensional. <laughs> All right, so let me do some of this. I'm gonna adhere a little bit. There you go, and that's our beautiful leather boot. I'm gonna, our journaling is going to go there. Okay, so now I'm going to take you to my crafting area where I do the painting and stuff. And I'm going to show you um, where we're going to put our little swirls here. Okay, so we're in my painting area. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, let's see. Okay, so my picture's going to go there. But I was thinking of putting some beautiful swirls. A small one in here and then a small one there and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use one of the versa marks this one is dazzle watermark stamp and i'm gonna use some um embossing powder and this what color is this i don't even, I don't even know what color oh su sapphire yeah that's the name all right so this is what we're gonna do I'm going to get something like this. I'm going to make sure I clean it up. And then I'm going to use my heating gun. Alright, so now we're going to use my heating gun. Okay, so then we have this beautiful swirl right there. I don't know if you can see what is there. Alright, so then our pictures are going to go there when we're done. And I'm going to make a bigger swirl same technique so one of our flowers is gonna go here and a little one here so I'm thinking of putting a swirl somewhere around here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that And now we're going to emboss it, like it. Heat emboss it. Perfect. Okay, so now our flower is going to go there. A small flower is going to go there. And we're going to have another flower. No, little flower is going to go there. So I'm going to put another swirl coming this way. Which I'm going to use, I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to kind of connect them in a way. See, I'm gonna do this sort of like that. Yeah, I'm coming down like that. Make sure that is exactly how we want it to be, and I think I like that. So now we're gonna do it one more time. Beautiful. I love the way that this is turning out, just beautiful. Okay, let's see. 
All right, so now I'm going to use my last, my last swirl, and it's going to go here. All right, let me put the flowers aside. It's going to go somewhere around there. And we're going to heat and boss it one last time. Beautiful. So we get something that looks like this. This is why sometimes I, I like to heat from the back because when you click when you heat from the front like the paper kind of gets a little wrinkled but that's okay. I'm just gonna go in a scrapbook page album anyway. Alright, so now let's bring out our prima flowers again. So we have our flowers here. I'm gonna put one there and one there. And I'm actually gonna adhere this with some um, Brad, let me see. I'm gonna have big flower there. You know what? No, the big one there, this one there, and my little one here. And then our picture right in the center. It's gonna look something like this, All right? And then the other two. So let me go back to my other area of the room. I'm sure you how we're gonna finish this off. All right. So I have some brass here that I use. Okay, so we're going with kind of a blue theme. Then this cute little whoops with the camera. That little hard one will be very cute. Um, and then this clear one. So I'm gonna touch it with those two. Let me see. No, make it bigger. I store some of my eyelids and my brads. All right, so we have our flowers here. All right, let me try to zoom in a little bit so you can see that. Let me zoom in. There you go. Okay, not too much. So let me close this. All right, so I like the contrast with the black boots. So I'm gonna put that picture there. Let's not, for, let's not forget our beautiful stickers. So I forgot this one. And this is definitely going to end our look. So I'm going to just add it just here. Just to the center. Like if it were to be a brad. Then when it dries, it's going to look so beautiful. There you go. Let me get something like this. Some sparkle to our pages. And yeah, this is definitely our final look all right i hope you like it and um thank you so much for watching